things are on right now. Hmm. I have this feeling that there's something missing on this list. What list? The list of the things I will need for my wedding. I told you Felix said I should come up with a budget and let him have it. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia and I drafted this yesterday and I'm here to give it to me because I don't want to forget anything. Okay, let me have the list. Let me have it. Uh, what is this? One million two hundred and... Ah! Are you sure this is a wedding list or a budget for a birthday party? Oh, please! In my list, nonsense. You don't know how long it took Nostalgia and I to draft this thing and you're using your bad mouth to spoil it. I am not spoiling anything. You know you've always told me how colorful and glamorous you want your wedding to be even before you met Felix. And I don't see how you're going to achieve that glamorous wedding with that budget. Thank you. My Felix does not have the kind of money that will make me have my dream wedding. So I think we should just do things moderately. Excuse me. What planet are you from? A wedding ceremony is not something that should be done moderately. You should go all the way. It's a once in a lifetime thing. Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Mm, I told your wife to make sure you come with her when coming for Antinenta. That's because I've been given an instruction by the doctor and I would like to convey it to you. I hope there isn't any form of complication or problem with our pregnancy. Mm, not at all, there isn't. She's in a perfect state and her pregnancy is developing normally. But you've not made any payments for her tenanta care. And this is the fourth month running. And in case you've forgotten, you still have an outstanding bill of 80,000 naira for the medical care given to the both of you for the past three months. Nice. How can I forget a thing like that? But you see, I need you to understand that it isn't my wish to become indebted to the hospital in any way. Besides, even you, you know it, that I've always been a faithful and loyal customer to this hospital, even before I met my wife. I know that, uh, and I'm sure that is one of the reasons the doctor will allow us to give you medical care, even when you have outstanding bills. But I have new orders now. We would have to stop your wife's antenatal care until you have set your outstanding bills. Why? Why would the doctor say a thing like that? God, I can't believe this. So just because we're having small problems in our finances, the doctor can't even give us time to get stabilized. After all, you knew we just got married and we need time to recover from our wedding expenses. Madam, you must understand this is a private hospital. We don't get support from government or anybody. We depend on monies paid for services rendered to customers like you to keep business alive. Yeah, that I know. I know that, Nels, but you have to talk to the doctor. Please, I need you to talk to the doctor. Who will pay? Who will pay, please? But you know, you, you can't stop my antenatal care. Please, it's so important. I'm sorry, madam. My orders are clear. God, my God. This is why I didn't want to settle for us to go for an elaborate wedding ceremony. But you would not listen. You insisted we borrow money because you want us to do an elaborate wedding. And see how we have just landed us now. We don't even have enough money to pay for your antenatal care. And what's the meaning of that? Why are you complaining? How many times have I warned you to stop complaining about how much you've spent on our marriage ceremony? After you're not the first man to hold a three-day wedding ceremony, are you? No, you're not. Because my friend's wedding ceremony was held for five days. Five good whole days, non-stop. Yes, yes, that is your friend. Your friend. Whatever. Tina, I warned you. I told you time and time again. Let us cut our coat according to our club, but you would not listen. Huh? You insisted we go for an elaborate wedding so it will attract rich people who will come and give us money and all kinds of gifts. Now, what do we have as gifts now? Huh? We have dishes, we have sets of spoons, we have plastic and all kinds of annoying items. I don't understand you. You know, I really don't understand you sometimes. Why are you panting? Why are you complaining? Why? Well, you know your complaint isn't going to help the situation at hand. Instead of begging the nurse here to talk to the doctor to allow us our, our care, you're here complaining about the past. 
Please do me a favor, forget about the past. Or keep quiet, better still. Nurse, please. Please. What can you do for us, please? Hmm. Clinic matters. Keep watching. Paparazzi everywhere. The longest bridal train in history. The tallest and most beautiful cake ever seen. The most beautiful wedding gown ever sewn. The most expensive ring money can buy. Thousands of people in attendance. Local and international cuisine. Oh my God, my wedding will blow people's mind. Eh? Nobody say nobody ma Peking won't marry with that. Ah, because all this thing we just talk now. Ah, nobody say money they go take drum. I'm not too down with the idea of an elaborate marriage ceremony. It's kind of outdated. That's a very wrong notion. It's only the poor that think like that. No, I think people know better these days. No one emptied their account for a marriage ceremony only to start starving later. <laughs> Not true. Because people don't they even do wedding. Even on Monday, when everybody don't go work. Now before, before, when did they do wedding for weekend? Ah, ah. Because you know, make sense. Make every Nigeria come for your wedding, come shop your food finish. Make it kind of hungry later. For me, it's better not to do a marriage ceremony at all than to do something that is not worth it. Ah, it's once in a lifetime occasion, not a um, birthday party that you, you do, do this year and make mistake and you want to make amend next year. No, please. You're right, you know. And since Felix has given you the liberty to make your budget, don't settle for the less. Oh. If he really loves you, he would allow you to have your dream wedding. Because there is nothing more fulfilling than people passing lovely remarks about your wedding ceremony. You know? I'll be lovely. Um, Biliki, what do you think? No. How can I ask Biliki of Biliki's opinion? What does she know apart from mopping the floor and washing the spread? Bring the list and let's raise the standard of egg. Ah, ah. What's all this you're writing? We start with this cake. Let's see, cancel it. Let's see, with two hundred and fifty thousand ah. naira. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after ah, this, can you? Ah. Let's say one hundred and fifty ah. thousand. Then okay. you're going to travel. You're going to travel out of the country. Uh, doctor. Please, I need you to understand that it's not in my style to owe at all. Look, all I'm asking is a little more time to run around. I promise I'll pay the steps. Doctor, you are aware that I lost my job a few months after the wedding ceremony. Yes. Yes. Yes, please, just give me some time. Uh, yes, look, I promise you, by the end of next month, I'm sure I'll be able to offset the debts. Yes, yes, she's still here. Okay, hold on for her. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, he said to continue attending to your wife till next month. And, but please ensure you keep to your promise. We will try our best, nurse. We will try our best. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you excuse me, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. I wonder what is their problem in this hospital? I mean, how much are we even owing that they are complaining about? Rubbish. Honey, you can't blame them. Don't talk like that. It's their business. Yeah. What we should be thinking right now is how to raise money between now and the end of next month. And honestly, I think you should start looking for a job the way I'm doing now. Me? Yes. Work? Please. By the way, what happened to your full-time housewife agreement? We had that agreement when I still had a job and could still fend for both of us. Look, dear, what we should be thinking right now is how to free ourselves from this debt we are having and get back to financial buoyancy. Sweetie, I need you to understand that I am pregnant. I'm pregnant and simply can't indulge myself in any strenuous activity. It doesn't matter right now. 
After all, you are the one who put us in this state that we are in. If not for the way you insisted that we go about borrowing money in order to organize such a elaborate wedding ceremony, in order to impress people, we wouldn't be in such financial difficulties now. There you go again. Are you the first man to borrow money for a colorful ceremony? No, I am not. And you won't be the first man to go looking for a job with pregnancy. I'm not going to do that. Yes. Now with this budget, you have your dream wedding. Oh, yeah? This is much now. What is much? The total is just 8 million naira. Hey! Ah! No, Sabi! Ah! Why you not the like pity person like this? Eh? You make a budget for 8 million naira for wedding. Eh? Why you not be a politician? Picking? Who asked for your opinion here, eh? Busybody. No, city. No amount is too much for a once in a lifetime ceremony. Hmm? It's very okay. So you just. I heard a loud scream from me. What's going on? Now, now, Sabio, now, since they make it, now, city go rob with Central Bank because they say want to do wedding. Eh? Eight million naira, and I see budget for the wedding. Totally alone. Eight million naira budget. But I thought we already drafted a reasonable amount yesterday together. Yes. We reviewed the budget and realized so many things were missing. So we included them and we upgraded some of the things on the list. We'll talk about this later. Um, I need you to attend to the lady in Wood C. Okay. I love the ballet. Yes. Now, wow. I'll be your list. I think I should do that for the sense. Now, wow. Now, God, now you go save the person for the adult. Bad advice. 8 million. 8 million. And the one you're calling bad advice, are we? I'll get you. Bushy girl. No sense. Clinic matters. Keep watching. Okay. Yes, you have to confirm payments before you secure the venue. Then as soon as the bride calls you, you let me know, okay? Yeah, for the decoration team, you have to tell them. Let them be there as early as 6 a.m., okay? Okay, no problem. Yeah. Yes, that, yes, yes, that reminds me. Tell the caterers, please, no lateness this time around. No lateness. All right. Okay, bye. Yes, I'm sorry, that was my PA. I wish I could be discharged today because I have so many things to do. I understand. But you can only walk when your health is in a perfect state. Yeah. Yeah, the drugs. I'm seriously trying. I'm trying my best. So you really have to get your mind off work for some days if you have to get better fast. You know, as a wedding planner, the job is quite demanding. And I have about five jobs to do in two months. So, and I don't really trust my employees because they might not do things right. Uh -huh. You're a wedding planner? Yeah, I am. You could be amazed how taxing the job will be. Oh, so um, I could show some advice from you then. My wedding is coming up in a few months' time. Okay. Thank you. Um, well, my fiancé wants me to give him a list of the things I would need for the wedding ceremony. I have a list already, but I'm not too comfortable with the total budget. I don't know if my fiancé would accept it. That depends on the list. Because before you plan a wedding, you have to check your financial ability first okay. before you make a list. Well, in my own case, my fiancé would be responsible for all the expenses or a large part of it. And um, my total budget is about 8 million naira. Wow, your fiancé must be very rich. He's not as rich as you say, but he's a salary and works with a bank. And my colleague said he could get a loan for the ceremony if need be. Can you give me a few minutes so we can talk? Yes, I'm not busy. Sure. Now I have your time, Miss Wedding Planner. How did you arrive at 8 million naira budget for the city's wedding? Most of our shopping will be done outside the country, so as to ensure an elaborate ceremony. Her tickets to London and Paris are also inclusive in the budget. And how much are you planning to assist her with to achieve such an elaborate wedding ceremony? I don't have any money to give her. Her husband-to-be will provide her the money she needs. You never cease to amuse me. 
At times, you make me wonder if you use your brain properly at all. Does Felix look like someone that can afford 8 million naira for a wedding ceremony? I don't know. And I don't care. Let him get the money anyhow. My friend deserves to be happy. She deserves it. Oh, you're more concerned about a day in your friend's life than what will happen after the whole ceremony. As a woman, we all have our dream wedding. And my opinion is that one should try as much as possible to achieve that dream wedding. For instance, when I find my Mr. Wright, hey, my introduction will be done on the land. My traditional marriage will be done on the sea. Then on the wedding day proper, hey, the helicopter will fly me in to the venue. Hey, I can imagine the fireworks. Ah, you know that has always been my dream as a child. And nothing, ah, I say nothing can stop that from happening. Nothing. It's not my fault. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, I won't say you don't tell her in the city. Say make you no money within the Saturday talk. Because if she carry that in a yet millionaire budget, go meet Felice. Felice, he say no one marry him again. I actually thought it was all a joke until I spoke with Nurse Abigail about it. But she kept defending her extravagant and unrealistic budget for Nurse City's wedding. Ah, Nurse Abina, my friend. Ah, I know if you know why Nurse City could listen to her friends. It's not as if Nurse Abigail is a bad friend. But it's just that she doesn't think of the consequences on certain issues. She thinks once and doesn't give her decision a second thought. You go better make it tell Nurse City, make not go foolish like Nurse Abigail. Because if she carry that 8 million naira budget, go meet Felix. She go use her hands, scatter everything away to the plan. Ah, Nurse Abigail is a devil. Now, devil, where is supposed to run from? Why are you quiet? Go on, I'm a devil, right? No, so they not tell me say you did inside though. I for not call you there for. I found it. Yeah, my dear. It's a good thing to dream about a one in town wedding. But getting a loan for it is not advisable. A moderate wedding will do you a lot of good and save you a lot of costs. But my colleague said people would laugh at me if my wedding ceremony is not of standard. How do you measure a standard wedding ceremony? People will still laugh at you when things begin to go wrong for you and your spouse. So you can say that you don't satisfy people. Uh, so maybe I should go back to my formal plan of a moderate wedding. Yes, you should. Whosoever is your good friend and a genuine well wisher will be happy for you. No matter how moderate your wedding is. And trust me, you'll be glad you're not in debt after the whole party. Oh, thank you very much. You've been a great help. And thank you for the professional advice. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. And what's my view for the service? Yeah, no chance. That's part of my contribution to your successful wedding. And I wish you a happy married life in advance. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Yay, yeah, come on, Pose for the cameras. Uh, no, City. We need to talk about your new wedding budget. Oh, well, there's absolutely nothing to discuss because I've made up my mind on what to do. Thank you. The bride-to-be has already made up her mind, so let her be. But, no, City, you can't give Felix that list. It's my just giving me a wrong impression about you. Well, 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 well. I'm going back to the formal plan of a moderate wedding. I just spoke with a professional that advice is just the wise thing to do. What do you mean by a moderate wedding? I hope you're not talking about a substandard wedding. Because if it's a substandard wedding, I won't come. And um, what's your yastic for measuring a standard wedding? It's my own wedding and not yours. You should be happy for me and not trying to push my feelings and I into debt. If you won't come to my wedding because I refuse to do it your own way, fine, so be it. I ain't gonna miss you one inch. Uh uh, no, city. Um, actually, uh, what I was trying uh, to say no. is. No. The bride to be already made up her mind, eh? So let her be. Clarice and I'm going to be married. Whatever. Yeah, yeah.